Hello everybody, today we're going to be covering this whole indexation optimization section right here. Um, we're going to be filling out all of, all of this. So the first thing to do is actually go to Google and we want to type this command. Oh. Now as soon as you type this command you're going to be getting all of this a very similar page to this. Obviously you want to replace this website with the name of your website. And then you're going to be getting something like this. This is page one, page two, page three, page four. Um, now, this whole indexation optimization actually should be called de indexation optimization because most of the content is actually content that we're going to be taking down from Google. So, what happened is this what happened is that um, there are many pages that get indexed by Google. And um, frankly, oftentimes, um, some content out there that we may have is just very low quality or don't give doesn't give any value to either Google or doesn't give any value to DuckDuckGo or any other search engine and doesn't even give any value to a user and what happens is that when this happens um, our website gets lower rankings and we want to avoid that and we want to avoid that by either deleting this content from our site or just completely uh, removing it from the index. So we are going to do that. And just let me show you one example here. So for instance, I mean, in this case, this page right here, if we actually go to this, uh, to this page, you're going to be getting something similar to this. Now, as you can see, I mean, th there is no content here. This is actually the page. Uh, there is no content at all. I mean, it, it's just this very little piece of content here. And this piece of content doesn't give any value to, to anybody. I mean, and worse, I mean, if you actually go and click here, uh, we're going to see that we're going to get the same content. So in this case, I mean, we are duplicating the same content in two different pages. And uh, this is just terrible, I mean. So not only the content is very lame, but we're also duplicating this content. And both of these pages, if I'm not wrong, are getting indexed by Google. And this is what we want to avoid. I mean, we want to avoid low quality duplicate content getting indexed by search engines. So that's what we're gonna do. And to do this, we want to go to the website and we're gonna go to the dashboard. And next thing, and next thing we're gonna do is go to the plugin section. So right here, you go to plugins, and you're gonna hit add new. And the next thing to do is actually go to the keyword section, and we're gonna type Joast. So you're gonna hit enter, and you just have to wait. And then we're gonna be getting this result. We're just gonna go ahead and install this. We're gonna hit install now. And then we're going to go ahead and activate this plugin. So once this plugin is installed, uh, the next thing we're going to do is actually go to the plugin itself. So if you go to the left, you're going to find this SEO section right here. And you just position yourself there. And then you're going to go to search appearance. And you're going to be getting all of this. Now, actually, you get much, uh, once you install this plugin, this actually works for posts and pages. So if you go back to the post section, um, you're going to be getting something similar to this. Well, in this case, this just, um, this is not how this page should be shown. What happens is that right now I'm working on a virtual machine and, and the screen resolution is not so good. So we're actually going to fix this by I'm not so sure if you have to do this. Um, you, you let me know in the comments if you actually have to do this too. But when I remove this, uh, the comments, when I hit apply, and it should be working. Okay, so now once we are in this whole pause section, we are going to go to edit. And there is uh, one new section that will appear once we install the, this plugin you're going to see that you you will have this whole section at the bottom of the page 
that is going to help us to actually get this content day index if, if there is no content at all. So in this case, I mean, this is in draft, if I'm not wrong. If I go back to the, let me go back to the, to the post section. Uh, this is in draft, so this is not posted content, but if we actually go here, um, let's see if there is content here or not. Okay, there is content here. Now, um, so let's say that this content is not useful at all. Let's say that we actually want to remove this content from search engines. So all, all we have to do is just go to advanced and uh, we are going to see this whole section. Now we want to focus on this. It says, should search engines follow link on this post and allow search engines to show this post in search results? So obviously we want to remove this from Google. So in this case, this is yes. Now if we, if we actually wanted to get rid of this page, we just had to hit here no and this is not going to remove the this is not going to remove the, the content itself it's just going to remove this from the algorithms so we're going to be taking this down from google in this case uh, now we don't know in this case if we want to take this down because there is actually content here so how do we know what content should we remove and what content should we keep this is actually very simple we have to go we're going to go back to the post section and um, we're going to be open, opening up every single post. So we're going to close every single tab here because we already explained that. And we now there, there are several ways to do this. In this case, there are not too many pages, but let's say that you had you know 100 pages or something like that. Obviously, you have to use bots to actually work with um, with a bigger website and uh, there are a couple of software that i use um that we're gonna be seeing i think in later tutorials when we talk about this content optimization but in this case we because there are not too many pages here we just can see every single content and every single page so we just want to go to view and we are going to see what the hell we're going to get Now, as you can see, this is sort of the content that you're going to be getting here. So you're going to be getting similar content to this. And in this case, every single page has content. I mean, so there is no reason for us to just get rid of a page that um, that has content. Uh, so in this case, I mean, this page, there is no content here on this page. And there is no reason for this page to be indexed. So we're going to go back here to, um, we're going to grab the name of the page. Uh, we're going to look it up here and this is the page so we go to edit this is going to be the first page that we're going to be taking down from google so we're going to go back again to the whole joe section we want to go to advance and we're going to hit here no now once you hit no that's it that's all we have to do should search engines follow links on this post? Okay, all we're telling Google here is if we want Google to actually pay attention to every single link that we have within this content. So even though we have told Google to actually not pay, not index this, this content, not index this page, it is still going to take a look at every single link that we have here. So you have to ask yourself, is every single link that we have here relevant? In this case, I think it is. And that's why we just keep it, we just said this as yes, but um, it's completely up to you. Uh, now, one more thing to add here is actually this page. If we go to this page, um, as you can see, I mean, there is no content at all here. So the recommended thing to do for content like this is actually to just remove this content. But what happens is that when you're working with clients, uh, sometimes you don't know, frankly, whether um, whether this page is actually relevant or they may have this page as a sort of reference or they perhaps may have this page at some point they may write some sort of content so you gotta make sure that this page is um is not going to be used at all uh now you're 100 percent sure that this page is not going to be used at all the best thing to do is to actually just remove this content so that's what we're gonna do uh we're just gonna move all of this to the trash better than actually setting this to no to the indexation but you actually saw how you could you could do this um 
in that case, if you have low quality content out there or you have pages that are not relevant. Now, if we go back to actually the articles, <coughs> um, the problem here is that, um, as you can see, I mean, if you go to the bottom of this page, this is actually just uh, duplicate content. This is actually taken from this website. So by definition, this content or every single content here should also be removed. Now, we're not going to do this because we're actually just, as I said, I mean, this is just a dummy website. But if you have duplicate content or you, if you have low quality content or if there is no content at all, you just have to remove the page. Or if you think that that page may be useful for some people, you just have to set this to, to the index. Uh, now, we're going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet. And we forgot to set the, the total number of pages that we have here. We are going to comment this. And the total number of pages we had was 152 um, indexed pages. And we can put the date if we want. And that's it. We're going to comment this whole thing. And we're going to type read more here. And that's it. Uh, now, when it comes to post indexation, all, all this means is how many posts we're actually taking down or how many posts we're actually indexing. So oftentimes, it's just going to be more as I said at the beginning, I mean, more content that we're actually going to be taking down or removing from Google. Now, in this case, we just remove one page. Uh, we could point this out here. Uh, usually, I mean, if, if there are many posts, let's say that we have a bunch of posts that are just getting removed, uh, we want to create another spreadsheet and point every single link that we have removed. But in this case, because there is just one link that we actually uh, remove, you can point this out here if you want. Um, and you can point even that uh, what content did you remove. So if you go to the trash section, um, you know, this is completely up to you, but I like to be quite organized. And, you know, I can put something like this remove content. Because there is, there is not too much, um, there are just not, not too many content that we have removed. Um, we just can keep it as simple as, as this. Okay, so when it comes to pages indexation, we want to go back and do the same process. So if we go here, we're going to go now to the pages section. And we are going to wait a little bit again. And we're going to remove again all these pages that are to the right. Now we want to do the same process. The first thing we're going to do is pay attention to how many pages are here. And if we go to the bottom of this page, you will see that there are actually 16 items here. So we just want to go ahead and open every single one of these pages. And that's what we're going to do. And that's it. Now, there are three things we want to pay attention to. One is if there is duplicate content. The other is if there is low quality content and the other is if there is no content at all. Now, in this case, we have content here, but um, it's poorly structured and the user experience is certainly horrible, but we're going to be fixing all of this in later videos. Uh, we have also content in this page. We also have content in this page. It's mediocre content, but nonetheless, um, this is the contact information. This is the home page. Uh, this is another location. Uh, we have some content there. This is the menu section. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, this is the other menu section, but in this case, we don't have any content at all here. So we have to ask ourselves, I mean, is we re do we really need to keep this page? I don't think we have to. I mean, now if we Usually we should find one page link in here or sometimes in the navigation section, but um, I think the navigation section is quite clear. Um, there's many one, many two. Okay, so we, we don't need this page. Uh, so we're going to go here again to the pages section. We're going to go to the menus and we're going to edit this page. And obviously, we just want to get rid of this page because we don't need this. So we don't have to, we don't even have to set this to no because we're just getting rid of this page. Um, so we're going to move this to the trash. Okay. 
we want to wait a little bit uh, you can see I mean this is already in the trash now now that we have done this we just can close this page this is the order online page now do we need to keep this page if you go to the top of this page you will see that this is actually linking here so this is the order um, URL and this is actually linking here in the navigation menu do we want to keep this page in this case I think we may want to keep this page because um, at some point we may use and by the way I mean if you if you're watching this and you have a restaurant I mean and you don't have this you have to have it because we are I mean in, at this point I mean ev almost everybody that I've been working on have this 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 thing and it's so useful and you, you will increase your sales and we're also going to be setting up one in in other videos now in this case i mean do we want to keep this it could be that we may want to set up something at some point here and so therefore i mean we are just going to keep this page and to keep this page we're going to go to edit page we're going to go to the bottom of this page we're going to, go to advance and we're going to say that yes we want to keep this page but we're going to set this to no and we're going to update this page uh, we're gonna wait for this to be safe and that's it all right now we're gonna close this page and now we have more pages okay there's okay now there uh, there's actually more content here that have to be removed or the index from Google so what we're going to do is go back to our Google Drive and we're gonna create actually one um, we're gonna create another Excel spreadsheet because we're gonna be. This is not gonna fit here, so we are just gonna go ahead to our drive. Um, we want to create another Excel spreadsheet, and uh, we may want to. We're gonna create one Excel here, and we're gonna call it. Um, let me actually grab the the design. Uh, pages in taxation and we want to we want to have this uh, we actually want to pay attention to the pages that we have just removed I think it was um, this menu section I think yeah so we have removed this page and we want to point this out here Right. Uh, what is the next page? The order online. We we didn't get rid of this page, but we kept this page. But we tell Google to actually not index this page. So if you go to the top of this page, you will see this line of code here, and it says no index. So in this case, um, we want to also point this out in the Excel spreadsheet so that's what we're gonna do and this is set to no index and that's it um okay so this is the same page now this is page one in this case also there's no content at all here do we need to keep this page most likely we don't because this is already i mean if, if you could see another page linking here and at some point we may use it but this is clearly a a, a page with no content at all so we're just going to get rid of this too uh we're going to set this to the trash and i think that's it so we want to point out that we are also removing this page too okay the next thing to do is uh what is the next thing to do we're gonna refresh this and uh, this is gone okay also this page there is no content at all here so we want to remove this page too and that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna tell this all right if we refresh this page As you can see, there is no content at all here. So that's it. And then this privacy policy, obviously we need to keep this page. This is a test page, so we're also gonna remove this page too. 
Uh, we're gonna send this to the trash. <clears throat> and that's it. In this case, there is no content at all here. And uh, we all, yeah, we're also gonna get rid of this page too. Send this to the trash. And that's it. Now, in this case, there is very little content here. Do we really want to keep this? I don't think we do. But this is the problem. I mean, when you don't know, let's say that uh, you know, you're working in some client and you don't know what the hell to do, you obviously just set this to no index. Um, so do, 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 do. this may be again this may be because there are some ingredients here it may be used at some point or this content may you know perhaps um this may be used in combination with other page i don't know we're gonna set this page to just uh, no index so we're gonna go here i'm gonna tell this to google to please don't index this thing and that's it. So if we see this page, we're just gonna, oh, I think I messed it up. All right, that's it. Okay, this is it. Um, and then this page, and in this case, there is some content here. Um, and I think this is it with, when it comes to this. Now we can link to this thing. Uh, and we could create, we can actually shorten this link because this is a horrible URL as you can see there. So we can just go to bit.ly. Oh. Damn it. This is a better link, and um, that's usually how I like to do this thing. Uh, we're gonna make this a little bigger, and I think this is it. Now, once we have finished with this, now we're gonna move on to this whole section right here. And um, to do this, we're gonna be using one plugin that we installed at the beginning of this video. Do you remember the plugin? Uh, the Joe's SEO plugin. So we're gonna go back again to the dashboard and we want to go to the seo settings right here and then we're going to go to search appearance uh, and here okay so here first of all we have to explain actually what this does so what this plugin does is to if you remember we were working post by post and page by page and we were just manually taking down or actually de-indexing every single post and every single page that we don't need or, or where there is actually no value at all. Now, what this plugin does, and the good thing about this plugin is that it allows us to actually get rid of every single post in just, just by, by pushing one single button. So let's say that we actually want to get rid of every single post that we have in this in this website. All we have to do is just hit, hit the button and that's it it will get every single post will get de-indexed by google similar with pages let's say we actually want to get rid of every single page uh, or we actually want to get every single page de-indexed um, from google all we have to do is just push one button and that's it it will get uh, every single page will get de-indexed so let me actually give you a more even much more clear example we can go here <coughs> and usually there are pages that either offer no value at all as i said at the beginning of this um of this whole tutorial or um it's actually duplicate content so one good example for that is all most of the time i just tag so let's say we want to actually open up this this page to actually show you that um i think this is a url 
so if we, if we go there we're gonna land here and as you can see I mean this is just a page with no content at all uh, than just this little piece of, of content uh, the problem with this is if we actually go here for, in for instance um, this is also going to show us uh, this content right here so you see it is duplicating this content here in this page and it's also getting duplicated also in this page too um, and if I'm not wrong it's also getting duplicated here too or, or actually this is the original page so this is actually the main page but it gets duplicated in both pages and this is the problem with tags so we're going to be day indexing every single tag because oftentimes this thing this kind of thing happens uh, so we're going to go back again to to the plugin uh, we want to go here and if you don't understand um, this you could always get more information just by clicking in this little um, question mark and you can get more information right here as you can see here so this is for the post, for every single post, and this is for the pages. Now, because we don't want to uh, de-index all, all the posts that we have, uh, we just want to keep this as yes and yes. And then we're going to go to media. Uh, let's just take a look at this. So this, it says media attachment URLs. Now, what this um, what this setting does is just it's, it's going to create a redirection to the original source. So what happens is when you upload one image to 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 WordPress, it automatically creates a sort of pause for that specific image. And what happens is that this creates a page with no content at all. I mean, it's just one pause with one image, and there is is zero content there. Do we need to keep a page like that? Obviously, no, we don't. And what this setting does is actually create a redirection to the original source. So it will just redirect that post image to the original to the original image, to the image itself in this case. Um, if you don't get it, you actually can get more information here too. Now we're gonna be setting up every single uh, setting that we're working right now in our in our blog, in my blog, in rebelmarketing.net. So if there is something here that you, you don't understand or you just want to get this part right, you just can go to, to the post and you, you could see there the settings if, if, if this gets updated at any point. Um, so this is okay. This is okay as yes. We're going to go to taxonomies. Uh, so here we have the categories. Now, do we want to keep the categories? Uh, in most cases, we actually want to keep the categories. And in this case, obviously, we're going to just keep it. Uh, so the categories, for instance, is this uh, this section right here. Sometimes this thing, this these categories create duplicate content. Um, so we want to be careful there. We're now also working on this thing too. But uh, by now we want to keep these categories. We also want to make sure that categories are not getting duplicated. Too. What happens is that sometimes we're using we're putting one post or one article in one category and then we're putting also that post in, in another category and this also creates duplicate content too so we also want to be careful about that and we want to check that too now by now we're just going to be selecting as uh, this as yes if there is a category out there that, that is creating this sort of duplicate content we could just set that category to to be the index uh, by default so the next thing we're going to do is go to tax and you most of the time you want to select here no unless your website is really really uh, using tax and, and you know people are actually searching for this but in most cases we actually want to select no to this and obviously in our case it just creates a lot of duplicate content so we don't want that and we're, we're telling here google to actually not pay attention to our tax uh this format section um we're gonna uh we're gonna tell this to no in this case it, it is by default we're gonna keep all of this like this the category is okay and we're gonna save these changes here all right so we're in taxonomies and then the next thing is archives now do we want to keep the outer section in this case is enabled we're gonna set this to um disable because we don't want to index anything at all here. In this case, I mean, the outer section is just, um, what is this? So, all right, so this thing here, I think, this is a good example. So if we actually go, 
<clears throat> if we actually go here, we're going to click here. And what this page is going to show us is just every single article that has been posted by, by this person. But the problem with this is that, again, this creates duplicate content. I mean, now, do we want to keep this content like this? Oftentimes, we don't. We just don't want to create duplicate content. This sends a bad signal to Google, and we don't want that. So oftentimes, we're going to be de-indexing this, this outer section. And again, I mean, it also depends on how big your page is. You know, that there, there could be some pages out there where the outer section is actually, um, th there is a lot of information there. And in that case, obviously, you want to keep that. So we're going to go back to our, to our plugin. Uh, we're going to tell this to be disabled. We are going to um, save this setting, and let's see what happens. We're going to wait for it to, to be, uh, for this job to be done. And we're going to go back to the outer section. We're going to update and refresh this page. And as you can see, this creates a link back to actually the, the, to the home page in this case. Now, it, again, it depends on you. I mean, you could, you could do this or you could just set this as, um, at enable, but we, we don't want to show this, uh, for, we, we don't want to, to index this content. And if you save this setting, let's try to do the same thing again. Uh, oh, let's go here again. <clears throat> now you go to the source code, you will see that at the top of the, you can see here that this is set to no index. Uh, so it depends on what you're trying to do, frankly. Now I will, I mean, if, if, that, if there is some content here, I may, I may try to leave it. I will, in this case, just keep it like this. I think as no, it's just fine. Um, and th there could be some people that actually want to research like that or who may like to research like that. So let's say I, I don't, um, I, ju I just want to research every single post that this guy has written. I can just go here and just take a look at every single post that he has written. So this is actually useful. In this case, I will keep it like this. Um, and this is it. Now, date archives. Okay, so we can click here to know what it, what this thing means. Not showing the date archive in the search results. Okay, so there are two options here, and we just want to understand what each of these means. And to understand that, we're gonna go to to the website itself. And we actually mess up the menu section. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we are going to fix this by going to appearance and menus. Let me check here because this 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 section was not like this. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we took down this page. Um, Let me try to fix this a little quick. I think this is a page. So let's go back to publish again. And we go to menus. It should be here. And we're going to set this page to no index. And we're going to update this page. And this should fix this error. So if we refresh this page again, you see, uh, we we'll actually mess it up. All right, this is fixed already. And what the hell we were doing? We're gonna go back here again. And okay, so what it does is when you go here, let's just pick up any pause. Um, so you see that you see the date here. If we actually go to the date, let's just pay, pay attention right now to the URL. And if you actually remove this part of the URL, 
you're gonna get every single post that was post in this uh, date but if we get rid let's say of this whole thing 2018 um, we should get every single post that was posted in 2018 now this is as horrible as it can get and we don't want this so we by default I think this is set to no index I think so as you see here you will see that uh, the option that is set to no index but we could remove this if we say let's say that this whole thing is disabled and we save the changes here let's just uh, go ahead and refresh this page again and you see that this made the right direction there but there are some people who may want to actually take a look at that so we're just going to keep this as enable and we're going to say that this is not not index special pages we're not going to touch anything here uh breadcrumbs we're going to see this in another tutorial because this is much more it will take us a lot of time to actually go through this and rss so this is it this is it we're going to go to our excel spreadsheet and we are going to set everything to be fixed already okay 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 category okay we went over all of this uh, you can put more nodes here fix on joe's or fix with joe's whatever you want to put it uh now other the index pages in this case we don't have we may add um perhaps more pages in later videos but by now we're not going to feel anything there and the site title and the tagline and this is a very simple thing if you go here i think this is in general and this is the site title and this is the tagline so we want to keep this as simple as possible the site title is just the main title the brand name um as far as i understand the brand name for this page is just this so we don't need all of this information here so we're just going to get rid of this and in fact i mean if you go to the pages that we were seeing before you see all of these uh, three dots here this is how horrible it looks so to fix this problem we can fix it right here and i will just go ahead and remove this and we're going to update this page And that's it so for this you want to keep a just short title in this case the brand name and this is usually a tagline or a slogan of your page and this is it we're gonna hit okay and we're gonna hit okay to this too uh now I, i'm not completing this and i'm not completing this yet because perhaps um in later videos we will see that there are some content there that is either has no uh, is it in du duplicated or has no relevance at all so we may want to remove that at some point okay thank you so much for watching this video make sure to hit the like button if you like this content go ahead and subscribe to this channel and see you and um, bye bye Okay, so there are two options right here. And the first thing to do is to understand what each of these means. And to understand that, we're gonna go to the site.